Welcome everyone to a very special on location edition of Learn Math with me, Brian Spinsky. I am here with my daughter, Brianna, who you have seen before, and along with her friends, Maria, who has joined us for our vacation here. Hi. We are here in beautiful, scenic, picturesque Lake George, New York, and we are standing outside one of our favorite spots when we come here on vacation the Playland the arcade. arcade right in the heart of the Lake George Village and last night we had a lot of good games and fun here as we just arrived in the town but today we're back here because we want to let the chance for math to shine in with one of our favorite arcade games deal or no deal yes <laughs> The classic game show, which has had its own arcade incarnation for many years. Yes, we are going to play and we're going to discuss some of the math behind how it calculates its averages and percentages. Basically, what an average amounts to is this. You have a list of numbers given to you, or as it's usually referred to in statistics, a set of data. The way an average is calculated is you take all the numbers in that set of data, you add them all up. And then you proceed to divide whatever total you get by how many numbers there were in the set. Now, what you're also going to see is that as we play the deal or no deal game, and this was true both of the arcade game and the actual game show, one of the things that you're going to see is that when it gives you its, the offer after each individual round, what you're going to see is that the offer that they give you is not the actual average of the remaining cases. What it actually is, is it's a percentage of that average. The way a percentage is essentially calculated is you have a set number, a given total that is supposed to represent everything. And whatever you have that is part of everything, you then take that number, divide it by what the whole amount is supposed to be, that will give you a decimal, which can then be multiplied by 100 to determine a percentage, because 100% represents everything. So as we go inside in a moment to play the game, what we're going to be doing is we're going to calculate a running total of what the average of the remaining cases is at any given moment. And on top of that, we're going to see when we get to the points where it gives us an offer, we're going to see what percent of that average it is actually giving us at any given moment. So, if, are you two ready to play? Yeah. Okay, let's go do it. Okay, so we're just about ready to play here. Now, to set this up, what we have done is, before we started this, we looked at the demo screens and we looked at the values of the 16 cases that this particular machine has. And we have added them up to come out to a total of 896. So what's going to happen is as we play the game, we're going to keep on subtracting whatever cases we remove from this particular, from this particular total. Now, also, now when the time comes for us to calculate the average of the remaining cases when the banker comes into play, we're going to need to remember keep a count of how many cases are actually left in play so that we can hit the appropriate division, see what the average is, and. Then we'll, then we'll do a division with that and see what the, um, and we'll see what percentage the banker is actually getting us. Now, just for the sake of completion with this, no matter what the offer is, we're going to say no deal the whole time. Because we want to see exactly what it does in every stage of the game. Yeah. And there? Okay, so, so, calculate all right, so, okay, so here. All right, so I will start here, and let's, uh, here, so let's go. All right, you guys are going to pick the numbers, just understand. Okay, so, all right. So let's see how it goes. Okay. Now I'm going to have another video where I'm going to talk about this. Stuck your head a second. I'm going to talk about this with the, with the pace rotation, too. Because I got something that I really want to try to figure out about this case rotation, or at least an element of it. We'll talk about that another time. Yeah. All right, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, what do you think? This would be your personal case. Okay, question You chose case number 10. Oh, Okay, so let's see. So, we see all the numbers here. Let's go in. Okay, five. One more. Six. Six. Let's go on. Okay. Yeah. I'm so worried okay. for a minute there. Hi. All right. 
Total of 665. We'll divide that by 11, and we get this 60.45. Now, it's asking, okay, keep that 15 in mind. We'll do the calculation at the end. Okay, make it go with that 15 for later. Let's let's continue on with the game, and we'll do the other part later. Okay, minus five. Or minus 75. That's okay. Alright, minus 40. Okay, alright, hold on. Okay, minus 7. Now how many are left? That's We have 538, so we will divide by 7 and see that the average is 76.85. And they're still giving us 50. Keep that in mind. Let's put the 538 back. Cases, dodge. Oh, there was the big one. Alright, it's okay. Why we're getting some of them? But Oodles finally comes up. Yeah, okay. Number three is still out because the button's not enough time. Okay. How many numbers are left? Four. So we divide 117 by four. The average is 29.25, and they're giving us 19. All right, we'll see where that. That's the previous offers. That's the answer. Oh yeah, game always does that. All right. Now let's see where everything goes. So we have 117. All right, three six. All right, three six and eighteen are left. Three eight sixteen are left. I'm sorry. Three. Okay. No, no, no. That's okay. All we want to get is the three or the four, and we'll get something out. Of it. Okay. And of course now what are we what are we dividing by? What are we dividing by? Two, which gives you an average of fifty one point five. And they're gonna round Okay. Alright. This time though we're actually gonna say deal because we wanna get some tickets out of this and this is a big disparity. So I'm gonna hit the deal. We'll take our fifty one tickets and we'll go from there. Let's First, let's see what happens with this. Okay, we had the hundred, but you obviously you want to play with some realism. The same is true if you were playing the real show, right? Play it safe. Exactly. Only have the three. lifestyle. All right. So now that we're back home, now we want to talk about the other part of the calculations that we didn't get a chance to do while the game was moving so fast. Now, having seen what the averages were at every given moment and what the offers were at the time, now we want to see how the mechanics of the game actually work and see what percentages the offers were compared to the actual averages at the time. Yeah. So one at a time, we're going to go through each of the, the main three offers because those are the ones that we're worried about. So. As we saw in the game that we played, the first offer was given to us as 50. So here, I'll have you do the calculation first. So we're going to start, so punch so in 50. 50. Now you're going to hit divided by, okay, on okay. my calculator, we're going to open the parentheses there. Okay, now, at the time of the first offer, the remaining 11 cases totaled 665. So we're going to punch in that parentheses, 665, 665, divided by 11. Okay, all right, now swipe over and close the parentheses now. Now to translate that decimal into a percentage, you're now going to put a times 100 at the end. That's going to move the decimal point over two places to the right and give you the actual percentage form, which in this case, just read with the first decimal place. So that would be point, point, 
2.7%. Okay, so about 82.7%, close to 83. So that was the percent of the average that the first offer of the game was giving us. Now we're going to edit this for the next uh, pill piece. And here, Maria, I'll pass this one to you. Our second offer was also 50 when we played. At that time, the remaining total of the cases was 538. So we'll punch that in. And that was divided by 7. To put a division of 7 in there for the 7 main cases. And now our percent says what? 65.0. Okay, 65.0, 65.1, because it was a 5 after that, that would cause it to round so up. 65. So you could see that the percent of the average at the time actually dropped. Now that's actually the reverse of how the real deal or no deal went, because on the actual game show, they would usually start with a small percentage of what the average it. of the cases it was at the time. Yes, you can put your arms down and stop blocking my face. Sorry. So... And but and in some sort of increments or whatever, it would continue to go up, eventually reaching and sometimes even surpassing the average of the remaining cases by the time we got to the end of the game. But here in the arcade game, it's usually dropping. So now we got to edit a couple things then for the third one because now it we, dropped to like nineteen. Yeah, nineteen was the offer, and of the four remaining cases we only had 117 was the total of the remainder and take a look at what that percentage says that says what 64.9 okay nine or in this case nine five the five would bump it up to a zero which would bump the four up to a five so again sort of the same so about 65 about 65 percent so that one was kind of even to the last one now that doesn't usually happen very often as a matter as a matter of fact but in setting for, up for this, for these calculations, I took a list of some deal or no deal videos that other people have posted to YouTube, and I looked at the averages for those first three rounds in between. Usually on most standard machines, I'll explain why I say most in a minute, usually the first offer is somewhere around the 90 percent range in most cases give or take a yeah. couple of percentages so our 82 or 83 was actually low according to that average yeah. and then the second offer usually is somewhere between the, the 65 to maybe sort of 82 percent range give yeah. or take again we were on the low side the third offer it can go down as low to uh, as the upper 50s and maybe as high as the low 70s. So we were kind of in the middle on yeah. that one, but the first two were really low. Now I said that that was true for most machines because there are some that the offer percentages are even stingier than that. Like especially, the Busters machine. Yeah, especially those because, and I have some of the numbers I saw prove it, their first offer can be down in the 65% of the average range already and get down to as low as 50 by the third round. It's not a, a perfect algorithm that it does, yeah. but it it plays to its own whims, but usually it plays to that scheme where for some reason, up until you get to that last round where there's only two cases, it seems for whatever reason that it wants to keep lowering the percentage of the average. So in a sense then, it's kind of spurring you on to play all the way through to the end of the game, which I guess isn't such a bad thing because I guess then you get you more. Know, more tickets? Yeah. You well, get not necessarily. Prizes? Well, not necessarily more tickets because remember, if you have bad luck like we have in certain yeah, cases, you know that. Well, it obviously the the chances of it you know getting lower. The, the risk is there for longer, yeah. but in general though. Um, it makes you want to like play on because like. You don't want to take the amount of tickets that they're giving you. You gain more time for your money, in, in a sense, or whatever. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. but you you decide how it how you think uh, yeah. whether that's a good system or I not. Mean, of course, it would be your game, so it's your opinion. Yeah, but just be aware of that challenge that that's giving you that it's you could not, always bust a big case. Yeah, and it's yeah, it's not going to give you such a great offer right at the beginning, even if you play. An exceptional rounds at the like, start. It's going to challenge perfect. you. Yeah. You get all the low numbers and like you would still get like a stupid percentage. Well, well, again, it's decent at the beginning, but it 
yeah. challenges you to go all the way through to the end, yeah. you know, to like, try to keep a good so number like up. Why? Percentage. Who knows? That's their decision. Okay, so we're so, not the creators. Yes, of Yes, exactly. So just go play it, have a good time, and leave it at that. So that was our playing of Deal or No Deal at, at the Playland Arcade in Lake George. We hope you got some good math out of it and some good strategy if you ever play the game now and in the future. And my special thanks to these two once again, as always. Again, you will be seeing uh, definitely a lot of her in the future. Maybe Maria will pop in again from time to time, hopefully, and stuff like that. You hopefully. Know, please. <laughs> <laughs> really? She will I'm cross her fingers finger. forever and ever and stuff like that. We'll see how time plays on. All right. In the meantime, please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and stuff like that. If you want to see more of these, you know, off topic and more, you know, applied math things or whatever, aside from my regular teachings, please shoot me an email, brian.sapinski at gmail.com. Let me know what you'd like me to discuss and we'll see how we can incorporate it into the future and stuff like that. And if you ever get the chance, please definitely make a trip up to Lake George, New York. It was absolutely yes. a good time. It was her first time there. She enjoyed it a whole bunch. It, I, wish I, could go there. I wish I could there. I live there. Actually. Great vacation <laughs> spot. Nice. We say goodbye from here back in Jersey. Take care. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.